Hey, what's going on guys? FlickFi here back again with another career mode player review. Today, we're going to be having a look at a center back, Antonio Rudiger. And if you guys do go on to enjoy this video, let me know by leaving a like down below and leaving a comment for any future players you want me to review. I'm going to be starting a new batch of simulated players here in the days to come, so look out for that. But with all that said, let's get into the video. At the start of career mode, Rudiger is a 74 rated 21 year old showing great potential and has an actual value of 2.1 million. When he sends Stuttgart and Enquiry, they're going to say 12.5 million. In the past, I've been able to pick him up for roughly 6 to 8 million, so you should be able to pick him up somewhere in that range. But we'll move on to his player information. You can see he's got some great stats for a center back. Six foot three, medium, medium work rates, right footed, has a three star weak foot and two star skill moves, no traits and no specialties to start off with. And honestly, he's got some great stats for a 74 rated player. Already, he's got really nice physical stats for a center back, ones that usually exceed much higher rated center backs in the 80s. Really great sprint speed, really great strength. And if you look at some of his technical attributes, they're not too bad in the defensive areas. But let's jump ahead and take a look at what he looks like when he's 30 years old. Over the course of nine years, Rudiger undergoes some immense growth, reaching an overall rating of 90, a value of 39.5 million, and a one of the world's best status. He also managed to pick up a few specialties along the way, the aerial threat, tackling, and strength specialties. And if you take a look at his attributes, he does grow across the board, reaching a lot of the physical attributes in the upper 80s and lower 90s. And the technical attributes, he does manage to pick up some immense defensive stats. 97 marking, 87 slide tackle, 98 heading accuracy, and 95 standing tackle. I'll talk a little bit more here in the pros and cons to follow with the highlights. Generally speaking, I had some very high expectations for Rudiger because he is one of the better center backs I've used in FIFA 15 Ultimate Team, despite the fact that he's a silver player. So I was expecting him to be just an immense player to use on career mode by the time he reached his peak, and he did not manage to disappoint. He has a number of pros, including his initial rating. He outplays it so much. You can use him from the start as a 74 rated player, and he plays more like a lower 80s player. He's just great at the center back position. He also has great speed with 84 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. His defense is just tremendous. 97 marking, 87 slide tackle, and 95 stand tackle to mention a few. And his physical stats are just enormous. He's six foot three and he has 91 strength and 88 jumping, which means he is just a tank in the back. The only con I managed to think up is that he is somewhat slower rated at the start of career mode, but like I said, he really tends to outplay his rating, so I think he deserves the double 10 out of 10 rating for both his overall and value for money. But guys, I hope you did enjoy this career mode review today. If you did, do me a favor, leave a like down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And until next time, this has been Ploikify. I'll be talking to you all again soon.